All right, my beautiful loves, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so we're going to start with some channeled messages, and then we are going to do a, a couple oracle cards and then get into the reading, okay? So Capricorn, I feel specifically what I channeled was for people that are possibly married and separated and about to go through a divorce, or uh, a mom and a dad. I feel like there's a child involved, okay? So I feel like there's a couple here that is about to split up or about to get a divorce, you know, legal divorce or about to split up, someone's about to leave the home. And I feel like a child, you know, comes in and says something, like maybe just one small comment and this comment kind of like floors everybody and you know it, it just brings on this energy of peace and recovery because the parents are realizing that it's not fair to the child okay um so I felt very strongly that with the, the channeling, I don't know if the reading is going to resonate with that or not. Um, if that isn't your story at all, you know, stand by. There might be something, you know, in the reading um, that does resonate with you. I, I felt strongly that there was an energy of, of, you know, two people either separated, going through a divorce, a lot of chaos. And, you know, a child just comes in and says something and it's just like the parents kind of like, you know, get taken aback and they're like we need to fix this you know we need to do what's right type of thing right so let's see here tell me let's pull some oracle i almost forgot about the oracle uh clarity guidance love messages for capricorn please tell me about capricorn please tell me about capricorn please so we've got be bold and make the first move and luck is on your side. So I feel that, again, I feel like there's an energy here of somebody coming forward, okay? I feel strongly it was a child, but guys, if you're not married and there's no children involved, it could just be a representation of maybe, you know, maybe it's a younger person, a younger sibling or something. Maybe you're fighting with your person and just someone comes in and says something and it makes somebody realize that they're being super unfair, okay or that it's not fair to somebody um so someone's going to come forward and say their piece and i feel like it's the best thing that they can do because it, it really just stops um it prevents an ending from taking place capricorn clarity guidance love messages clarity guidance love messages so we've got the world we've got the world we've got man holding a heart Okay, and we've got uh, adjacent possibilities. So <clears throat> there may have been an energy here where somebody wanted to walk away because they had other options or they thought that there would be something better for them out there. Um, but I feel like this person still has a lot of love for the situation. You see what I'm saying? It was maybe one of those things where things got scrambled or it may just be a karmic cycle that had to shut out or just a chapter of the connection that needed to end so the connection can grow and move into another chapter. So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. We've got hidden motivations and the loving man. Okay, so Capricorn, I feel that... I feel like someone here loves their relationship or loves their family. But they may have wanted to leave because there was someone else in the picture. Yeah, I, I feel like someone here wanted to leave because they were trying to pursue something else and then something gets said and it kind of brings this person back into the moment and makes them realize what they're doing okay that they're about to leave their home their family their marriage their person for a third party tell me about capricorn please we've got the dragon fly be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adopt change adapt change and heal i can't speak good lord tell me about capricorn We've got clock. Need time takes time, in time cycles, time to heal and progress. Tell me about Capricorn, please. And we've got twin flames. Yin, yang, balance, union, duality, couplement, uh, coupling and complementing each other. So I feel Capricorn that what's happening here is you might be in a twin flame connection where things are kind of crazy up and down, you know, things are on and off type of thing. Um, I feel like there there is a realization that there's a very strong need to heal 
you know what I'm saying? One person maybe was getting treated very unfairly. Um, but I feel like someone comes forward and says that. Someone comes forward and says, you know, what you're doing is wrong or what you're doing isn't right, right? And it just kind of wakes somebody up to the fact that, you know what, I have to fix this, okay? Um, and it might take some time to fix the situation. This might not come together quickly, but I feel like someone here does want to fix it, okay? Tell me about Capricorn, please, Spirit. Tell me about Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. And we've got the Five of Wands in the reverse, okay? Under the deck, we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpionic Energy. So Capricorn, I'm telling you, someone here was ready to let everything fall. Someone here was ready to walk away, hold back. They didn't want to give to the connection anymore. Um, you know, Five of Wands in the reverse, this person was ready to just go manifest. Someone here did not want to fight for this connection anymore. They didn't care about the connection anymore. I'm telling you, with the Tower, they just wanted to let it fall. Done. You know what I'm saying? Um... They, they just they just wanted to let the connection go so this is the side of the person that i feel might possibly have a, a third party or may possibly um have wanted to leave the connection four of cups someone here was very unhappy maybe not getting the attention that they deserved in the relationship four of pentacles and the wheel of fortune i feel that someone here thought that if they pulled back and went somewhere else they would be happier okay because they were feeling very lonely in the connection or feeling very you know with the Magician and the Five of Swords here, I feel like someone was manifesting an ending. So they were, like, you couldn't even speak to this person and they would jump down your throat. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were trying to get the connection to end. So every little problem would be a huge fight type of thing, you know? Tell me about the uh, Five of Wands in the reverse and the Death card in the reverse. Um, I feel like this person didn't want to fight for the connection, but at the same time, it wasn't ending. Do you see what I'm saying? So no matter how much someone tried to disconnect from the relationship, it, it just didn't, it never actually, like, they couldn't get it to split apart, okay? So let's see what we have on this side. Spirit, tell me about Capricorn, please. Tell me about Capricorn. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. Tell me about Capricorn, please. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about Capricorn, please. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. Under the deck, we've got the Three of Wands and the Ten of Wands and the Chariot. Okay, so I feel like on this side, guys, we've got somebody that is totally committed, that doesn't want to lose this connection, that wants to have long-term, stable future, okay? Um, now, with the Page of, excuse me, with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like the person on this side is very quick to bring up the past to try to keep it together. Oh, but do you remember when we got married? Do you remember when you promised me forever? Do you remember when we said we would never leave each other? Do you remember when we said we would never break up our family? Like the person on this side is very traditional and stable and they they want to work through the problems. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, with the three of wands, the 10 of wands, the chariot, someone here um, wants to just drop the issue and move forward and have peace. You see what I'm saying? This person just wants to try to fix the connection so that's why the person on this side can't seem to disconnect tell me about the queen of pentacles please tell me about the queen of pentacles please the queen of pentacles please and the six of wands see this this queen of pentacles energy keeps winning because they don't disconnect Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, please. The Ten of Pentacles, please. And the Eight of Cups. I feel like even though the connection 
is emotionally disconnected, even though there's no emotional fulfillment. Because I see here the Four of Cups and the Eight of Cups. There's no emotional tie in this connection. There's no love here anymore. Someone still wants to maintain we're married until death do us part, or we we, we promise we'd never leave each other, or we promise we'd never break up because of the, the children. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. And the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. Yeah, someone here, um, the way they fight back, their defense mechanism is to say, no, we said forever, and forever means forever. So go eat your dinner, I made dinner, it's on the table. You see what I'm saying? So this person's doing whatever they can to try to break the connection so they can leave, and this person's like, I don't care what fuss you're making. Um, you know, they're just, uh, are you ready for bed? Because I'm tired. You know, someone here is just like, no, we are not, you know, someone's like, no, we're not breaking up. You're not going anywhere. It's not happening. Tell me about the challenge here. Tell me about the challenge here, please. The challenge here for Capricorn, please. Tell me about the challenge for Capricorn, please. The challenge for Capricorn, please. The Six of Pentacles. The Hierophant in the reverse, Taurus energy, and the Justice card, Libra energy. The challenge here is that one person doesn't want this to end. The challenge here is that somebody will get their kids involved, get family involved, get whatever. They just don't want this to end. So what ends up happening here is, is that someone says something, and it could possibly be this Queen of Pentacles energy bringing up the past, promises that were made. Um, you know, someone here doesn't feel the same way. I feel like one person with the Hierophant in the reverse does not want the connection anymore. Um, but they're staying because with the Justice card, they're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to do the right thing, but they don't want to do the right thing. They want to, they're going to keep trying to, you know, sabotage the connection because they want out. But, you know, the person on this side is saying, no, you know what I'm saying? No, we made promises and we're going to keep those promises. Tell me about the outcome here. Tell me about the outcome. We've got the Two of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Devil, Capricorn energy, and we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, see, the problem is, is that this is, you know, someone here is being patient. They've got their foot out the door. This person with the Seven of Cups wants to go pursue other options. They want to go Seven of Swords and the Moon card. You, you've got someone here that's talking to other people, already looking for, like, this person here wants to go. And with the Two of Cups in the reverse, the Devil and the Ten of Wands, I feel like hatred is starting to set in. Like, like I, I hate, that's a heavy word, and I hate to use that word. But with the Devil card and the Ten of Wands, someone here is going insane because I don't want to be in this relationship. You understand what I'm saying? Ten of Wands, I've had enough. I don't want this anymore. Do you understand? And with the the Two of Cups in the reverse, there's no love here. You know, there's no. I, I you know, I just want to go be somewhere else. I want to go do something else. And I understand we made promises, but hey, it's a new dawn, a new day, a new age. You know what I'm saying there's no reason to